All right. Okay, we're back at it. Really fun workout that I'm excited to bring to you guys. It is a cardio ladder, but here's kind of the fun part of it. Everyone thinks cardio has to be this like go hard, hit, jump, jack your knees up, your back hurts, and then you're just totally spent. So we're gonna get that heart rate up as if we're mimicking a cardio workout, doing a lot of body weight stuff. So you don't need any equipment, just your cute little space. Have, a, have some water, maybe a towel on hand, depending on how much of a sweater you are, which I am one, um, but I'm in my garage and it's chilly. So we'll get your heart rate going, we'll get your body temperature rising. It's a ladder workout, so I wanna explain it to you, and we're actually going to go through all of the moves to generate some muscle memory for you. All right, so there are 10 moves, and in the workout, we're gonna do four reps of each. We start with one, we move to the next, we go back to one, we hit the second one, then we add the third, we rinse and repeat all the way until we get to the end. You get the idea. Super fun, right? Um, but the warm up, I'm gonna take you through that whole circuit, not in a ladder format, but to generate that muscle memory, we're just gonna start with two reps, just so you kinda know what to expect and know that there's options, modifications, whatever you need. This is your workout. This is 30 minutes that you have that you've created for yourself. So I want you to really cultivate that energy and tap into what your intention is. What did you need out of today's class? Why are you here? Um, obviously, because we're buddies and we wanna work out together, right? So that being said, let's get to it. I'm gonna pop my music on for you guys and hopefully you'll be able to hear me okay. All right, so. 10 moves, we're gonna start with our first move, which is an inchworm, all right? Everybody's done it. We've done it a lot of my classes. So start with our feet underneath our hips. I'm gonna show you from the side. It'll be as if you karate chopped in your hips, hinge forward, and we're gonna walk our hands out into a plank. Where do those wrists go? Right underneath the shoulders. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your core, belly buttons into the spine, and then we're gonna push our hips up as we walk our hands back into our feet, roll up. That was one, we're doing one more. So we got two here, and then we're gonna move on. Right here, hold it. Now we're gonna add our next move, which is a spider lunge. So your right leg comes up to your right arm, and back to that plank. Left arm, left leg, back to that plank. Hold it here, we'll have four of those, but we're just doing two. Modification, drop that knee down. All right, anytime we do a plank move, you can drop that knee to create just as much energy into the move. Pop those knees up. Now we walk our hands back into our feet and we roll up. All right, so single leg deadlift. I'm gonna show you from the front. Right leg first, you either anchor that back foot as a kickstand and then we switch to the other side. Same thing, you can decide how challenging this gets for you. Maybe you work on your balance. All right, nice and controlled. So just while we're here so we get the hamstrings warmed up, just do two good mornings for me. So you're gonna hinge forward. We have a slight bend in our knee. Not too much though, because we really wanna make sure we activate the hamstrings. Weights through the heels. Awesome, moving on. Curtsy lunges, one each side. So left leg back behind, stand tall. We pass on over to the left side. Hips are going to the back corner of your room. Heel, stand tall. Two burpees, move number five. So a couple options on those burpees. Hands come down under the shoulders. That is never an option, that is always a requirement. You can walk back into that plank and then walk it in. That's one, we got another one. So here's your other option if you wanna progress a little bit. Jump back into that plank. Always have that strong plank like you started out the inchworm. Jump back in, stand tall. Easy peasy, right? So, on your third, or our last one, we're gonna hold that plank. We have a firefly push-up, so if you need, watch me first. You press back through the palms of your hands and the balls of your feet, okay? Otherwise, you could drop your, your knees and go into a child's pose, and then you push forward into a push-up. So let's do that again. Press back, belly's in strong, push forward into a push-up. All right, that option again, you can always have those knees if you wanna progress a little bit into that push-up. So a couple things, make sure you watch that gaze. Don't let that chin pull in, stay here. 
We go into a bear stance. So hands are underneath our shoulders once again. Knees underneath the hips. You're gonna stay here and hold it, all right? You can tap one knee if you need a little mini break, or you're gonna step, walk to the side, and then walk back to the other side. We'll do that four times in our workout, all right? Then we flip on over, a little dance move. Are you feeling like a break dancing? Hips go up, fingertips face the back of your heels, and we do some dips. So elbows are shooting straight back, you wanna make sure you feel it light up in the back of your arms. All right? Switch back on over. So we spend a lot of time right here, which you can always have the option to drop two knees and get a little break. We have kick through. So knees are elevated, and you kick through perpendicular to your hip, and then you switch sides. So my hip, opposite hip, is hovering on the floor. Another option, just drop your hip don't even worry about the kick through, all right? Good. Last move, I say the best for last, all right? You're here, and we're doing donkey kick, so it looks like this. You can either come here, kick your booty, kick your booty, if you wanna add a little bit of a cardio piece, right here. So soft knees, when you land, walk your hands in, roll all the way up. That was just a warm up. Are we ready? Yes, okay, four moves. All right, or sorry, four reps, 10 moves. It'll go by fast, I promise that heart rate will come up. Anytime you need a break, you take it, all right? We're gonna start with those inchworms. So load those feet underneath the hips, that karate chop through the hip, right? Hinge forward, slight bend in the knees, walk it out slowly. We're not looking for speed right here. Hands lock in underneath the shoulders. Nice squeeze of the quads, walk it back in. Roll it up, there's one, we got three more. We're going in full tilt, I'm telling you, we're going quick to the point. We got no time to waste. Roll up. So I want you to root those heels down through the floor. Squeeze, lock those shoulders down and in. So you feel that energy come up through the back of your legs as you stand tall. Good. Last one, hold it here, spider lunges. So right, left is two, so right, Back to plank, left. Back to the right, good. Left, go into that strong plank. Pop those hips up, walk your hands. Woo, all right, from the top, we add on inchworms, four of them, walk it out. Strong shoulders right here, squeeze your butt, walk it in, roll it up. Three more. Now, let's hope I don't lose count as we progress. It's all right, we'll just keep moving. Two more, every time you stand up, can you squeeze your butt a little bit? And when you're in that plank, can you really think about drawing your belly butt into your spine? Good, last one, hold it here. Spider lunges, set yourself up. We go right, and then we swap to the left. Remember that option to drop to your knees. Good, find yourself back in that plank, pop those hips, walk your hands. We have a single leg deadlift, right leg. So where you put your hands is up to you, find that focus. Float that back leg, or have it be a kickstand. Alternating each leg. We only have four total, two on each side. Trust me, it'll add up. So nice flat back. I'm gonna show you from the side, last one. I want a straight line from the crown of your head all the way through your tailbone. No arching. Good, how are we doing? From the top, then we add four, let's go, walk it out. We gotta get through this strong plank, squeeze everything, walk it back in, roll it up. Now we're gonna pick up a little bit of speed, nothing that compromises our form though, right? We don't want that. Two more. But because now our muscles are warm, we can tolerate adding a little bit more to the tempo. Last one, we hold it down there. You know the drill. Right here, spider lunges, right, left. How can you intensify each time we arrive at the same move that we've done around before? Hold that plank, pop the hips up, roll up slowly, single leg deadlift, find that focus. We got four of them, then we add on after this. So we slow it down. This is where you allow that heart rate 
to come back down because I find when I do any planks, I'm kind of holding it down in that position. My heart rate rises really, really well. I don't want to say quickly, but really well. All right, we're at none. Those curtsy lunges, we're going to the right. Four total. So sink low. Get the most out of them. Here's three. Here's two. Last one. Reset the feet. Back into that inchworm. Hinge forward, walk it out. Belly's in nice and strong. Hold that strong plank. Each plank, you should feel more confident. You should feel stronger. Anchor the wrists under the shoulders. Woo, slight bend in the knees. Remember, those hamstrings are getting in a lot of work each time you hinge forward. Last two. How's your breath? You finding that you're breathing a little bit heavier with each rep? Hold it here, hold it. Spider lunges right, left. Four, three, two, one. Pop it here, hold it. Hips up, walk it in. Roll up. Woo! Single leg deadlifts. Here we go. We have four of them. We're flying through this, you guys. Good. Find that focus. We got two more. You'll really start to appreciate this move, and as you go slow, it feels like kind of a built in stretch. We got the curtsy lunges coming up after this. Four of them that we add on. Here we go, here's four. Sink low, shoot those hips back. Weight always in the heels. Last two, next move. Burpees, move number five. Four of them, wear those hands under the shoulders. So walk or jump back into that plank. Come in wide, stand tall, three more. Down, jump back or step. In, stand tall, two, good. Always make sure you set yourself up. Hips down if you're Popping it back in, protect the lower back, leverage the strength in your legs. Woo, from the top, here we go. Roll it down, four of them. Strong plank, walk it in, roll it up. How are we doing friends? Yes, we're having fun. See, we're already halfway through the moves and you probably forgot what we have coming up after burpees, right? Don't worry, I didn't. I got my handy dandy cheat board, otherwise I would. Last one, we hold it here. Spider lunges. Four of them. Right and left. Right and left. Pop that plank, hold it. Push up. Walk it in. Roll up. Single leg deadlift. We're cruising. Remember, you can always anchor that opposite foot. We have about five to seven percent in that toe. Maybe less if you're really trying to focus on your balance and your core strength. Good. Woo! So you can really think about your core and how strong you're building it through these moves. Curtsy right, left. Because you have to protect your lower back, right? So you draw that belly button into your spine. So you're contracting whether you realize it or not. Good, Bob. four burpees. Fifth move. Jump back or step. Come in. Now, if you want to intensify this, you can always drop down into a strict push-up. I don't like those funky burpees where you end up kind of doing like the worm. One more. Now we add on, but stay down here. That last burpee, stay here. Firefly push-ups, remember? Push back to the heels, either on the knees, propel forward, push-up. Good, remember that option, down knees. Push forward, stay on your knees. You don't have to bring those knees up off the ground. Good, one more. Belly's in strong. Big shoulder and chest move. Not to mention your core. Strong plank, walk it in. Roll up. Woo, from the top. Here we go. So do you see how that this becomes a cardio workout without all of the impact? That heart rate's flying, right? We have moments of recovery. Got two more right here. Squeeze, I want you to really leverage your muscles, quads, hamstrings as you draw up. Last one, then hang out down here. Pull that plank, spire lunges. How can you intensify right here? Make it a little spicy for yourself. Plank, walk it in. 
Roll it up. Yes. Here's our active recovery. Seem to like deadlifts. Or maybe this is your most challenging move because of balance. Right? Good. Nice flat back. Don't compromise that form to try and touch the ground. All right, you're not gonna get a trophy for that. Good. You do proper form and you do it slow, or even if you're using weights down the road, perfect it with that lighter weight before you get carried away with heavy weight. All right? Good, this is your workout, your journey. Last two. We got those burpees. Good, right here, hands underneath the shoulders. Jump or step back, in wide, stand tall. If you want to add a little bit extra and you don't want to do the push-up, add a little jack at the top. Good, one more, hold it down. Hold it here, firefly push-ups. Remember, push back. Push forward into that push-up. Good, and back. Always that option, come on your knees. And so that explosiveness into the push-up is where that power is behind this move. Good. Now we stay here. Bring those knees in, showing you from the side, underneath the shoulders. We're gonna walk to the right once. Now walk to the left. Good, again, right, left. Otherwise, hold that right here is your modification. Good. Pop those knees up. Woo! Oh, enjoy this for a moment. You ready? Right back to it, let's go. Come on, when you're having fun, the pain <laughs> goes away. And I don't mean pain of like, oh my gosh, this hurts. If this hurts and there's anything, obviously, scale back, all right? Again, you don't get a trophy for powering through it with an injury. Excellent. We got one more. And then we hang out down there. Woo! Hold it here, spider lunges. Good, maybe you're bringing that foot up a little bit closer to your hand each time. And you're not necessarily jumping back and forth, but you're ending up bringing length through the hip flexor each time you do that. Single leg deadlift. Woo! Do you work on balance? Or do you focus on that control using that back foot as a kickstand? Beautiful thing is, you get to decide, it's your workout. You came here for you. Maybe to hang out with me too. I can feel good about myself. <laughs> good. Oh, so much more fun to work out with friends. We got those curtsy lunges. Find that I push myself harder. Even if we're like hundreds of miles apart, I know you're there with me, or you know that I'm here with you. That's a beautiful thing. Burpees. Woo. Jump back for a step. Remember that option, you can always hop at the top if you want to enhance this and make it more of a cardio hip move. Last one, we hold it down. Hold it right here, fire five push-ups. Push back, explode forward. Keep those elbows tucked into your side, don't let them flare out, okay? You'll have more control and more drive. Last one, excellent. Walk those knees in underneath the hips, hold it here. Bear stance, walk it right, left. Take your time, I want a flat back. You want to make sure that your hips aren't popping up, all right? Or that they're jockeying around. Good, flip it over. Woo, we're almost there. Four tricep dips, keep those hips elevated, shoot the elbows back. Good, hips are just about to touch the floor, but they don't. Good, last one. And we're gonna flip it over. Good. Find that pause right here, pop the hips up. Walk it in, roll it up. How are we doing? We have two more moves to add on. From the top, let's go, roll it down. Walk it out. You're gonna be a master at these inchworms. You know what I love about inchworms, and you'll see it a lot in my warm-ups, is it works almost every major and minor muscle group. Your shoulders, your biceps, your triceps, your core, your quads, your glutes, and your hamstrings. Last one, hang down here. Spider lunges. Woo! How are you gonna enhance and intensify it for yourself right here? Last one. Plank, 
Pop it up, walk it in. You know the drill. Single leg deadlifts, I don't need to remind you. Here we go. So find that gaze that's natural looking at the floor. We don't want to pull our chin in, so we compromise the airways, but also your neck. You apply too much tension in your neck. Good, last one, right, left. Then we pop in those curtsy lunges. So how can you spiceify those curtsy lunges? You can stay low the whole time, stay right here. This is how you can add a little bit more intensity to the curtsy lunges. You ready for those burpees? Sure you can. You know what to do, hands under the shoulders. Jump or step back. Come in, stand tall. Good, you can also come up on the balls of your feet. Anytime you get those hands up over your head, you're gonna add a little extra in that heart rate. Good, hold it here, hold it here. Firefly push-ups, press back. Push forward with power. Press back, remember that option, get on your knees, power. It's an explosive move into that push-up. So you have to control yourself down. Last one, good, woo. Excellent, pop those knees up, walk them in. Get those wrists underneath the shoulders. Walk it right, left. Good, here's three. Two more, one each side. Good, last one. Can we flip it over gracefully? Channel your inner beatboxer. Woo, hips up. Here we go, four of them, dip for four. Lift, three, squeeze the back of your arms. Here's two. Good, we're adding on. Flip it over, those kick throughs, right? So we're right here. Remember, you can either drop the hip, right? Always lift one arm up, or you can kick it through. Make sure that shoulder stays right on top of the wrist for me, okay? Last one. Woo! Pop it up. Oh my goodness, we have one more to add on. Can you believe it? Let's go, we're not stopping. We're not stopping. Walk it out, that nice strong plank. Woo! Roll it up. If you need, take that time to roll up their wrists. Also, really be mindful of your surface, especially if you're working on hardwood floors. Two more. And you sweat, you get a little slippery. So I recommend a yoga mat or some sort of strength mat. I have these horse stall mats and they're awesome. Great for impact. Hold it here. Woo, walk those shoulders away, spider lunges. Four, switch, three, switch. Feel that stretch in your hip flexor. Woo, hold that plank, pop it up, walk it in. Single leg deadlifts. I'm gonna hold it here for this side. I want you to pay attention to your form. Right, nice flat back. No need to touch the floor because you take it away from your hamstring and then you start putting it into your lower back. Can you dial on your belly button a little bit more, take those shoulders and really roll them back down your upper back. So I want you to pretend your weights and your lats are dialed in to make sure your shoulders don't fall forward. Good, curtsy lunges. Can you stay low? Good, two more. Woo, last one. Our favorite, burpees, right into it. Woo! Always come wide, bring your feet outside your hands. Promise you, it'll save your lower back and using the biggest muscle group in your body, your legs. Last one, we hold it down. Hold it down. Firefly push-ups, drop to the knees or on your toes, power forward. Good. Three more. Find that breath. Is that belly button pulled into your spine? Good, we got one more. Good. Woo! Pop it up, bring the knees underneath your hips, bare stance, you walk it right left. Or you can always hold it here in the center and tap each knee, your decision. Good. Regardless, flip it over. Go into those tricep dips, hips are up. Four of them. Woo! Three, squeeze the back of the arms. Last one. Flip it over. Kick throughs or hip drops. Remember your options. All right, maybe you progress to the kick through as you do this workout again. We'll do it again, don't worry. Last one. All right, last move. Donkey kicks. 
So you want to make sure you're pushing yourself up onto those shoulders. You can either hold it here, press back, here, press back, or kick your booty, land soft, and pop those hips up. Woo, roll it up. Guess what? We did it. All 10. We're not done though. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna give you a hot second. Catch your breath. You should find that your heart rate is elevated. I wanna bring it down just a little bit, all right? We're gonna do that whole thing. One more, <coughs> one more time. You guys with me? Of course you are. Let's do it. We're gonna go in five, in four, Come on, grab your breath. We got three and two. We start with those inchworms, ready? Karate chop at the hips. Walk it out, this should feel good. Nice stretch. Those planks, don't you feel awesome, right? Planks are the most empowering move. And again, like I said, it's full body. Woo, two more. Can you squeeze your butt at the top? Excellent. We're gonna cruise through this set. Last one, hold it down. Hold that plank, spider lunges. Remember your options, you can always drop that knee. Woo! I want you to make sure you're working to get your foot as close to your hand as possible. Hey, plank, hips up, walk it in. Single big, da -da -da. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Here we go. You can have your hands wherever. Sometimes back here, sometimes pointing to the floor. Whatever you find that you have the most control, and also it gives you a little bit of a challenge. For me, this challenges my balance a little bit more, but I have a slight bend in my knee, and I can wiggle my toes the entire time because my weight is in the heel. Good, curtsy lunge. Get low, sink it down, stay lower. Can you stay low? Good. Don't let me see that head pop up. Woo! Good, stand tall. Burpees, four of them, you got it. Pop back, come in wide, stand tall, add that hop if you want. You can take that intensity to whatever level you need right now. Last one, hold it back, hold it right here. We got bear stand, firefly push ups, push back, power forward, push back, power forward, that explosive move in the balls of your feet. Last one right here. Woo! Good, now we can get into our bear stance. Get those knees underneath the hips. Walk it right, left. Woo, flat back. Should be able to put a glass of water on your back and it won't be jocking around. Flip it over. Make that transition what you need, okay? Hips up, bend the elbows, press. Squeeze the back of the arms, I got two more. Good, last one. Flip it over, kick throughs, I love these. Find that bear stance, kick it through. We got four, transition, three, over, two, belly up strong, last one. Oh, our final move, donkey kicks. What do they look like for you? We got four, we got three. Can you hold it up in the air a little bit? Last one, woo, pop those hips. You wanna know what? We're going one more time, we're not stopping. Come on, just one more round, I promise. When I say I promise, I'll stick to it, all right? That, you can believe. Here's three. Come on, total mindset. Don't tap out yet. You tap out, all in your head. Last two, we got one more. I'll tell you, I'll bring you in on a little secret. Last one, we hold it down. Spider lunges. Bring that right foot up. And left. Right. And left. Woo, plank. Walk your hands in. All right, roll up, my secret. Anytime you see me wearing a headband, deadlifts, you know it's gonna be a good one. I bet my headband is my indicator to my members, whoever shows up to my class is gonna be a good one. Even my own personal workouts, I know 
When I wear a headband, it's gonna be a doozy. Why? It keeps the sweat out of my eyes. <laughs> That's the extent of my secret, yep. You heard it here, folks. Curtsy, here we go, we got four. Stay low, here's three. Can you drop lower, last two. Final set of burpees. Go, come on, make them best set yet. Push through, here's four. Last three, here's two. Last one, hold it back, hold it here. Woo, fire five push-ups. Come on, here's four. Here's three. Watch your gaze, make sure that neck is neutral. One more. Woo! Beautiful, walk those feet in. Hold it, bear walks. Excellent. You can always hold it, all right? But challenge yourself, this is the final round. Hold that bear stance, flip it over. Tricep dips, four, four only, and three. Smile, come on, last one. Pull that belly button in, flip it over. Kick throughs, line yourself up first. It's not a race, all right? Again, we don't give out trophies for finishing first, all right? Not when it comes to our workouts. Take your time, put in the work. Hold it here, donkey kicks, last move, here's four. Remember that option, you can alternate. Woo, last one, woo. Walk it in, roll it up slowly. Roll those shoulders back and down. Give yourself a round of applause, high fives. That was amazing, okay? Just don't stop moving your feet for me. Heart rate was like this. We're gonna bring it down. We're gonna stretch, all right? Literally that was 30 minutes from start to finish. Warm up included. So give me two minutes to stretch, all right? Nothing more aggravates me when people stop there to get finished with their workout and then they just bounce. I'll stretch at home, no you won't. We're at home, let's do it together. Here we go, inhale up. Good, oh, exhale. Exhale out all, anything that's left in there that shouldn't be. Inhale up, bring in all the good. Exhale all the energy that you don't need to hang on to yet. Inhale up, point the toes towards me, hinge forward. We have a flat back, hold it right here. Hold it right here, nice flat back, so zip that belly button in to your spine and fold forward. Just allow your body just to naturally relax. Release any tension in your lower back that might be lingering. You can grab the back of the legs if you want to accelerate the stretch to the hamstrings. Good. Now we're gonna drop the hips and lift the chest. We're gonna go into a little primal squat stretch. So push your knees out, keep your chest elevated so those hips are dropped low. If you're right here, that's fine too. The goal is just to get those knees out, give a little stretch to the inner thighs and your hip flexors. Can we add a little spine stretch? So your right hand on your right foot, left goes up to the ceiling. Good, it should feel nice through your lower back. Now lift those hips up in between. Little hamstring stretch. Drop the hips again, back into that primal squat, opposite side. Left hand to the left foot, look up at your right fingertips. Still putting energy into that left leg. Woo, hips go up. Good, bend the knees, roll up like a rag doll. Woo, all right, take that right leg back. Drop that back knee. I'm gonna show you from the side. Shoulders right on top of your hips. Drop that back knee in a nice 90 degree bend. Bring that left arm across the body. Relax the shoulders. You don't want them up here, relax. We're stretching, we're not working out. Now, press that heel flat to the ground. You should feel a nice stretch through your calf, on the back of the arms. A little combo stretch. I love the compound moves, whether it's in a workout, or in a stretch, get the best bang for your buck. Switch legs, we're almost there. Your heart rate should have come down now. And if it's still a little bit elevated, move your body, keep walking around, grab sips of water, just don't stop, all right? Just don't stop moving and allow it to plummet, all right? Make the most out of the hard work you just did. 
Be sure you go nourish yourself with energizing foods. Hydrate, release. But just most importantly, you guys, bring in that gratitude and revisit that intention you said at the beginning of class. I am so grateful for you guys to be here and support me and, and want to work out with me. I look forward to our next workout. Until then, you guys, have an amazing day. I'll see you guys soon.